Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the classification of bacteria and also I'll share some tricks that how you can memorize their names. But before starting the lecture, I'd like to tell you guys that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comments section. Grab a pen and a notepad and let's get started. Bacteria. It is further classified on the basis of its structures, in some places on its biochemical properties and in some places on staining procedures. But I'm not going to discuss that, I'm just going to tell you the names of bacteria right now. Bacteria is classified into gram-negative bacteria, then gram-positive. Then we've got some exceptions, we're going to talk about that in just a couple minutes. Then we've got acid-fast bacteria, that's the only mycobacterium that does not stain with the gram stain. And then we've got spirochetes. Let's start with the gram-negative. It is further classified into cocci and rods. Rods, for ease of understanding, are further classified into aerobic, anaerobic and facultative. Facultative are further classified into curved and straight. Straight are further classified into enteric and related organisms, respiratory organisms and zoonotic organisms. Don't think that these are big organisms, these are still the microorganisms. Then let's talk about the gram-positive. It's further classified into cocci and rods. And the rods of gram-positive bacteria are further classified into spore-forming rods, which are further classified into aerobic and anaerobic. And also the rods are classified into non-spore-forming rods, which are further classified into filamentous and non-filamentous. Okay, now let's talk about the exception. The exception is that this bacteria has no wall, so we call it a wall-less bacteria. That this one is mycoplasma and we have talked about the acid fast bacteria we are going to discuss about these parakeets in just a moment let's start with gram positive cocci i've got mnemonic for its memorization it is cell positive s is for streptococcus and also for staphylococcus e is for enterococci l is for lactococci you might be thinking there are two l's yeah you can use it for lactococci. Then we've got V on this positive. I've put this shopping bag on this V so that you can remember we are going to sell positive. And this V is for viridans. Now let's talk about gram-positive rods. I've got mnemonic for that. That is blank. We've got blank ending with K, but C sometimes also sound like K, so I've put C there, so you can easily memorize that. B is for bacillus, L is for listeria, A is for actinomyces, N is for nocardia, C is for clostridium and cornibacterium. But in some places, mycobacterium is included in gram-positive rods or sometimes in gram-negative rods. If it is included in gram-positive rods, along with some of the species of bacillus and so, we will get to know them with this mnemonic, that is McDonald's. M is for mycobacterium species, A is for anthracis bacillus, C is for clostridium species, D is for diphtheria corny bacterium, N is for nocardia, A is for actinomyces, and L is for listeria, D is for diphtheroids. If you guys are finding some difficulty in uh, listening to the pronunciation of these names, you can slow down the speed of this video and listen to the pronunciation so you'll be good at that. Now let's talk about the gram-negative cocci. Okay, as it is negative, so the word negative has got N in it. So this is for Neisseria, or in some places it's also pronounced as Neisseria. Now we are going to talk about gram-negative rods. There are many rods, so for ease of memorization, I've got a sentence for that. That is, my chef's bell works perfectly. M is for mycobacterium. If you are going to include that in the gram bacteria, then you are going to use the starting M for mycobacterium. If you're not going to include that, skip it. Y is for Yersinia. And now let's talk about the chef. C is for Campylobacter. H is for Haemophilus and Helicobacter, E is for Escherichia, F is for Francisella, S is for Cerisha, Salmonella and Shigella. Okay, now move towards the bell. B is for Bordetella and also Brucella and Bacteroids. E is for Enterobacter, L is for Legionella. Let's talk about the work. You might be thinking work starts with a W and you've written W there. Okay, I've got W in bracket because W and W sometimes sound same, 
that's why V is for Vibrio, and then you've got R, K, S. R is for Rickettsia, and K, S is for Klebsiella. And perfectly has got P in its top, so it is for Proteus, so my chef spell works perfectly, our gram-negative rod. As I told you earlier that we are going to discuss about the spirochetes, these are the spiral-shaped bacteria. As you can see, this orange-colored spiral there, you can roll and make your bell in a spiral form. So I've got a mnemonic for that, that is bell C. Spirochetes starts with S and S also sounds like C sometimes, so I've got bell C. And C is wearing a belt on top of that. So B is for Borrella, L is for Leptospira, T is for Treponema, and C is for Chalmidia. I recently realized that it is called Chalmidia. I used to pronounce it. Chlamydia. I don't know which one is right. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. Finally, we are going to talk about the exception. Exception is mycoplasma. I am wall-less bacteria. This M refers to mycoplasma. We'll be talking about all the bacteria in detail in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned for those. And that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. It was essential to take notes and pay attention. If you did so, I'm positive that you've memorize that and also if you want to connect with me on my socials i've got my instagram i've got my twitter and i rarely upload blogs so do check them out till next time assalamu alaikum